Sadie Trowbridge is a junior at BSU who currently lives in an Airbnb. And when the fall semester started, she wanted to live in an off-campus apartment. After making her decision with Uncommon Apartments, it would be months until she got a solidified move-in date. I signed in June and they were promising August when it wasn't even fully built, like the outside wasn't even done. Um, and then they pushed it back to end of September and then end of October and then middle of November. Uncommon Apartments is an off-campus student apartment described on their website as an experience a far from common student living community. However, students like Sadie, I'm making it homey as much as I can, have been waiting since August for this experience. They gave us two options. Uh, one of them was to stay in a hotel that they'd provide and you'd get, I think it was like $50 a day. Um, and then the second option was to find your own accommodation and you get $150 a day. Months later, the rooms and hallways at Uncommon Apartments remain empty. A spokesperson for the article Student Living sent Idaho News 6 a statement that says, Unfortunately, we encountered delays during the construction that were unavoidable. We are providing daily stipends to those impacted until they are able to move into their units. They're giving us money, um, but I don't think that it doesn't feel like enough to me. Like. I've had to move constantly and, you know, it's very exciting to be able to decorate your own room and like get everything set up. And I've just been like disappointed every time I get that email that's like, oh, we're not going to make this date. Sadie has been jumping to and from Airbnb since August and with the new year coming around, she's hopeful that this time the date won't get pushed back. When they give us updates that kind of tell us what's going on, like this last one, they were finishing cabinets, insulation on like the top floor and then starting in the hallways. Um, and I have more hope because they've had like almost six extra months to, to get it done. Um, so I'm more hopeful, but I've always, I've also had that hope in the past and then it gets crushed when I get that email. That statement from the company continues in part quote, we apologize to all our residents facing disruption. Leasing will continue next year and renewals if inquired. Sadie says that they gave her a move-in date for January 6, 2024, and although she's excited, that's only two days before the spring semester begins. I'm your neighborhood reporter Jessica Davis reporting from Boise.